A goodly evening, this is Tenerdas to Human, and welcome back to our Teutonic Rebels campaign. And you join us outside of Silly Liar, where last time we managed to finally get a bit of revenge on Lithuania. They are still causing us some problems, it should be said. Their battles are certainly the most awkward of them. But Vilnius is under siege, and Baranovici is under siege, and Silly Liar is very much under siege now. We've managed to pick off their forces out in the field, mainly actually by sending out lots of random scouts to take their watchtowers. Seems to have drawn them into various stupid positions. And uh, I'm quite happy with this little scenario here. Now we do of course have this army a little bit battered from last time. Um, I'm happy enough to leave them besieging the town, but we should really send in a few reinforcements. So, uh, okay, we should send some reinforcements, but I mucked that up and pressed the button all wrong. So I guess we're going to send some slightly different reinforcements. Uh, we'll send them along. Okay, there we are. Less crossbows, but hopefully that'll be fine all the same. So we're going to leave them besieging that city. That is a pretty strong force in there. Experienced, proper general, all of that malarkey. But uh, we can siege them out there seven turns away. Now Riga did actually get taken last time as well. We should bear that in mind. And so we do want to go and send their force over in this part of the world towards Piskov. Do I actually want to send it all over there? We've already got quite a lot over here. You know what, it's fine. We'll just make sure that we're getting that all set up. Because we've got two generals there. They have a fair few forces. They have more over at Novgorod. Oh yeah, we probably need to just make sure everything is uh, sensible and under control in that part of the world. So um, Novgorod is being threatened right now, but I think we'll be fine should they go for us over there. Uh, Superstoff over here will go down next turn of any luck. Same with Muglin. Yes, actually, um, the Mongols seem largely under control, albeit there is a reinforcement army potentially coming on very soon but to be honest most of these settlements are now very much under siege this is likely to be the penultimate episode we shall see about that we do have most of the fact well we still have all these factions here it's kind of ridiculous lithuania teutonic order we have novgorod with the mongols oh yeah they're all just floating around waiting to die but uh they'll hopefully die soon enough we do still have tiny bit more reinforcements coming from the west although at this point i have basically stopped the troops of hamburg coming in so it's probably yeah marienburg is probably the last place i'll bother sending any units from so uh, at this stage yep we've got oh yeah i thought there were some units somewhere that i needed to be sending around let's send these guys over in this direction lovely so yeah with some crossbow cavalry heading on in i think it's time to end our turn Oh indeed, Silly Liar is going to be where it all goes down once again, but uh, no night attack here, they are going to take on all the forces together. Right, Yulpal over here, who last time took on the force outside the city, is a bit damaged, but hopefully he'll be able to make this work brave marks of war. Oh yeah, that's very nice indeed. So, um, right, we've got to try and hold in this sally here. But of course, we do have reinforcements. This could be a very fun battle indeed. It's a shame we don't have extra crossbowmen, to be honest, because I'd like to stand and shoot them down. Nonetheless, our men didn't take too much damage from last time, so let's head on in, and let's hopefully take this out at long last. As ever, this kind of battle is always going to be an awkward one, and we are annoyingly near the towers here, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. However... However, I don't really have much choice in that. This is just an immediately starting battle. There is no deployment in this particular affair. So let's just shoot down those axemen. I think they do actually have... No, they aren't shields. They are two-handed. Okay, get some missiles into them. That'll be absolutely fine. We are just going to get ourselves in a nice box. Use these towers just to help us out a little bit. We've got Viking raiders in at the front. We've got a couple damaged units just taking up supporting roles here. Uh, but we need our cavalry potentially to do some sensible position in here so you get yourselves out here in fact you know what let's make sure that they are not managing to close us down here let's not allow the flank oh i left the bodyguard over here get over here mr general i'm gonna need you right about now actually all right we're not gonna allow them to push out over there we're just gonna head straight into those horses because they are 
quite irritating. So yeah, they're a bit pinned in. We will get on top of them immediately just to try and do something with them. You just hang out over here. There are militia over there, so we're going to go deal with them. Right, we're mostly going to tell these guys to be aggressive, but they don't seem to be doing anything just yet. You pull out of that. You, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Get the cavalry back into that position. This is nice. We've got these guys mostly dealt with nice and early. Down to 27. We're definitely the heavier of the men. Let's get these into this kind of a position ready to charge because actually they are uh, the slightly lighter guys who can hopefully do a big old charge. Yeah, just smash into those Bajoran cavalry. Um, good old pejorative cavalry. They need to go down. You just go and mop up those horsemen. Don't allow them to cause me any issues. You head into those axes. Just make sure we've got them dealt with. We have not done much charging with these guys. Pull out of there, pull out of there, pull out of there, pull out of there. Do not let those axemen get on top of you either. Cavalry, your job is just to make sure they don't... Wow, well, they broke. That's impressive. We're right in front of the main line here. We are going to horribly, horribly lose this, by the way. We just need to hold for long enough. Right. You, into the side of that general. We've got the spearman right here. Let's take him out. This is perfect positioning, actually. Yeah, we've got a Tartar Lancers, and we've even got the Order Spearmen in this kind of part of the world, I think, in there somewhere. I don't know. We'll have to make it work anyway. So these Horse Archers are in big trouble, as you might well expect. They are dealing with them. General, do you want to deal with that? Probably not, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, there is a bit of flanking going on. We're going to need help from our... Um, allies sooner than this actually Tartar Lancers you get into these cavalry militia as well yeah okay oh no they are gonna they are gonna they are gonna take this battle that's fine by me I'll happily get on with that fine it's just a big old chunky affair at this stage can I get my missiles to aim at this general as much as possible don't really care what happens so long as he goes down this will be fine and my allies can finish it all off you Head into there. You, my good sirs, you just have to hold that little flank for the time being. Okay, cavalry are just chasing him back and they've got themselves routed as a result, which is not necessarily ideal. These cavalry militia are lasting much longer than I'd like. My allies are not here anywhere near as quickly as I would need them to be. Nonetheless, ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all, actually. It's right in front of these Pavis. Pavis, you need to actually start getting into some hand-to-hand -hand now. That's not what I wanted to see, no. All right. Um, hmm. Those cavalry, we need the general right now. We need the general right about now. Turn him around, deal with them. Uh, for some reason, those Tartar Lancers have not managed to take him out at all. They really should have. General's down to eight missiles. Forget what I told you. Just aim for him. Just take him out. They're eager, unfortunately, and they're starting to pin us in. I don't want to take on those axemen properly here. What I want to do is get around with the general. Get around, Hubal, Hubal, Hubal. We know he's a brave bastard and he's going to have to prove it now. He's the marks of war to show it from last time. They have so many missiles in our rear. It's ridiculous. We get on top of this general with ours and we just got to hopefully take him out before he takes us out. The axemen coming to support is probably not going to help, but... Seven versus nine. Well, we are going down fast, actually. We're going down way too fast. We're going to pull out of this. He said a six, but that's too low for us. Get the general behind the lines. Get the general back behind the lines. Where are the reinforcements? They're not here nearly fast enough. Okay. General, just stand into that position right about here. All infantry on the general. I don't mind taking him on. But so long as we're in our men, not his men. Okay, this is a right old chunky thing here. He is blooded. We can see him right here at the front with these two. There's their king. <laughs> oh, this is going to be 1v1. You need to sod off and let them fight each other, damn it. Oh, dear. He's running away. He is running away. Let's just pull my guy slightly out of that because he's no longer fighting uh, them at this point, are we? He is going to fight till the last... We are the last of his men here. General has pulled out of it. All missiles should be dealing with him. General, get yourself out of here. 
Your job is to go take him on 1v1. Assuming we're allowed to do it, that's certainly what we're going to do. There's no tower over there, damn it. So, oh, he wants to do this. We get to do this 1v1 the proper way. I don't care what happens to the rest of this army. Sir, you need to go and deal with this stuff. This is perfect. Is he running back, by the way? He might be, you know. Um, where are my reinforcements? They're in that corner. Um, siege gear's over there. Are there. Is there siege gear over here? Yes. Right, part of the problem with them is that they're attacking with the siege gear. Rather, than, uh, for Pete's sake, guys. For Pete's sake. Right, well, you can just run over there and join in. Whereas my general just needs to go and take on theirs. We're going to go and kill him. I don't care what happens to the rest of my army. You can come and join us if you want. But this is down to my general to do. They can't activate the towers from the outside. So we're just going to chase him. Oh, we hit the wall. He charged into the wall with utter tit. Come on. Chase him down. Are we the fresher of the two? Tired? He's eager. We're eager as well. We're going to chase him on down. This is exactly what we want to see. General v General. Mano on mano. Hopefully no tower is activated because that would be ruddy awful if that were to happen at this point. Is that General just charging towards my entire army? I mean, maybe he's the greatest damn hero of them all. See no towers though. <laughs> so we'll just keep on running in this direction. We're catching him, damn it. Oh, I think we've got him in hand to hand here. Is he wanting to do this? Come on, lads. This is what we all came here to see. Take each other on. Let's come on. Come on, you two. You know you want to. They're trying to... They're just trying to, like, get a face on each other. Oh, no, General. He's getting the hits in. We got him. Yes. Great work, Habal. Oh, no. Steve. Get out of there, Steve. Oh, no. He shames us all. He did, he did everything but shame us. Oh, he got sniped. He got sniped. That is brutal. Okay, um, you guys need to just run. Actually, at this point, just run. Oh, that was so sad. He never would... I mean, I, I he, he wasn't going to get away there. Right, guys, it's time. It's time for you to be big damn heroes and save us from this mess. Well, at this point, my allies are doing some strange things. One unit has decided to climb a ladder and get on into the city. Yeah, a couple of them are there. I've actually got my guys here now as well. So, yeah, let's go go and, go and run over to that ladder and we can hopefully take it over. There's one hit horsemen, the snipers, which are being, uh, well, I think we're killing them. We seem to be killing them anyway. Thank you, lads. I think we're mainly just trying to run them down out get them out of the way oh it's time it's time get revenge for your general for your general no are we close enough to keep the gate from opening for them that would be fun if so i think we are by the way yes revenge go and save your general's honor sir in fact i mean he absolutely saved his honor. i would love to for him to have survived that but in many ways that was the greatest of all deaths, wasn't it not? Okay, come on. Get into him in time. As for the rest of this, yeah, 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 get in. Um, we may have just joined the queue, actually. We're a bit late on that front. Um, can we get to this plaza? Oh, we can, but the plaza's a bit busy. We're going to lose so much of this secondary army, aren't we? I think so. Anyway, let's get these guys over there. These have not quite killed this guy yet. Need to make sure he goes down. Down he finally goes, which is good news because the reinforcements are coming to kill them right about now. I think your lives may be over because I don't have anything I can do to save you. At the very least, I do have some of my uh, reinforcers that I control gradually getting into the city. So that's good. But um, I'm a bit concerned about the timer. Don't know that our friends here are going to be competent enough to pull this off. Obviously, they do have all of this siege equipment that I got them and all of my siege equipment over on that side. But, um, oh, my, my lance has got caught out. Yeah, but of course, we're trying to all go up like this one thing. Can we just get my guys, actually? My guys to come and take this wall over here. Sorry, it's jumping now because I've done this in a bit of a silly way. Let's go and grab this gate and maybe we'll open it for everyone. I think that's kind of what I'm hoping the AI realizes at this point. So if we go grab this, come on. This is the slowest start to an episode ever. But we definitely have this gateway now. So with that, maybe everyone else is going to start coming in here. Yeah, they are. 
Oh, you see, I'm an absolute cocking genius. I mean that the hostiles have been released into the city. Well done, guys. Um, my, see, basically, I won this battle is what we're seeing right now. Although I say that, the Huskulls, um do need to actually do their job here and chop these people down. But surely, sheer numbers will do the job eventually. So, um, right, this has been a kind of a strange old battle. But who would have thought it would go any other way, seeing as um, Lithuania is... Uh, yeah, just what it is, really. It's been a long, old, stupid the set of battles of them. Bloody. They are they kind are of doing an awful lot of damage to us here. I'm a bit concerned, actually, at quite how many of us are going down. It's mostly the Axemen, though, who are very, very tough indeed. It looks like we're just about going to make it in the end. We've been shot by something. Is that because they reinforcements have arrived? I don't know, but it looks like we're just about <laughs> going to do this. If the actual, like, infantry want to help, that would be magnificent. But it looks like... Victory is just about ours at this point. Don't leave the plaza. We haven't won yet. Anyway, we're going to make it to the plaza and make sure that victory is officially grabbed in honour of Hubal, the greatest of all the generals that have ever been. And uh, as for the actual kill here, 49%. End it. End this goddamn forsaken battle. Charles' bodyguard, 73 inflicted, most importantly, a one-on-one -on -one kill of their general. Absolutely glorious. So with all of that, it was just an end turn. We will sack it. Or oh, should we just exterminate it because I'm fed up with them? You know what? We're going to do that on this rare occasion. Because sod them. Died a noble death in battle. True words were never said there. Hubal, what an absolute goddamn hero. And what a mess. By the way, what's left of my army over here? You know what? It's actually mostly fine. It's one unit of infantry and a part of the cav that went down but in general it's not too bad teutonic order abysmal no idea how we managed to get it anywhere other than that quite frankly uh potsdam you know what we have a bit of money we'll give you an actual upgrade why not most of our towns have now been upgraded including by the way redemption which is now reached oh yeah there we are it's one turn away from its new upgrade isn't that absolutely marvelous i think it's just milton Keynes now that's a basic pathetic town but um all right, uh, Vilnius under siege. Uh, yeah, some of these are going to take a little while. The Mongols have now squared up to us at Kiev without actually doing anything. Let's just go and take over a few of the simple ones, like Muglin over here. We can sack that. That'll be marvellous. We'll just immediately take the entire army to the next town. That will be marvellous. There's some reinforcement cav. There is a little bit more reinforcement cav over here as well. So we'll just send them off in that direction, see what is going on. Repair up the wall. No need to worry about that. Good stuff. Was there anything else? There was this one over here, which probably I should actually do properly, but we're going to just click auto on that because I don't think it's the most interesting of our battles here today. Uh, we can get some terrible units from them, but I guess we'll just... Oh, those Kazakhs. Were they three and two? Three, six, two. Absolutely abysmal. Okay, well, that's some good work done. I think we're going to need to get a bit of organising of our army sorted out so we can make our next big moves. With a huge amount of Empire admin done then, really the key battle is over here outside Puskov where we've got ourselves and our two new generals, Rashkos and Satriz over here. We've gathered not necessarily the best army, but a decent little force to go and take on Mil Zavidov who is coming along with a pretty scrappy force, actually, so we should be absolutely fine to take him out. There are those some trebuchets to cause us some problems. Now we've got some reinforcements over here, here, here. These are a mixture. There are a few high-quality units here, but in general, these are just kind of the scraps we've been able to pull out of Revel, and to some extent, Narva. Narva's got some decent infantry on it, to be fair, but hey-ho. Let's uh, swing into this one and deal with them. That should leave Puskov as a little bit more open. Novgorod seem to have lost a lot of their strength, actually, over time. Or at least they haven't got a huge amount of their stronger units out. Maybe I'm just uh, now used to Lithuania being absolute monsters. Nonetheless, we're going to send some of our stronger units down towards Substov. And then we can head into, yes, Smolensk over here. This army here, that will head into Mizislav. That'll uh, probably swing across this way or maybe that way. Probably over to this town here because we haven't got anything to guard against any counter against Homul. 
So yeah, I think we just need to head towards Hommel. Otherwise though, yeah, we're just making sure we've got all of our forces where we want them to be. You move over there just to make sure we've got ourselves uh, some units in that part of the world. Canals we cleared out the spare unit around here and our units are now besieging the city quite happily. Vilnius is probably the most dangerous one. Um, the Ultra Reserve might not fancy their chances when they want to sally against us, but I don't fancy actually fighting that. If they do want to sally, we've got to rush straight on in. The Sub's Law will be miles away from the wall on that occasion, won't we? Nonetheless, over here we've got ourselves two armies. We've got Sordes with a decent enough force, only a cro couple crossbows. We are lacking the missiles a bit, but these will be taking on the Imperial imperial teutonic order so uh we don't have to worry quite as much about all of that we probably should actually finish off their uh cavalry here because i meant to restock that after yeah the last battle they just lose some of their cavalry in that so a bit of restocking and that's looking a little bit better we might as well get these moving off in this direction cavalry can make it all the way so yes, a few more reinforcement infantry are on their way. I think we'll be fine in time. But yes, time to head in against the Novgorodi. So he doesn't want to do it. Not really surprising, but we're going to make sure he does. So as for this lad himself. Hmm. Aspiring commander, confident attack, the siege expert, but drill master minus one morale. Indeed. Okay, but he is healthy as well. Uh, this side here is a drill master, that's why he's coming on for this battle. We're going to throw him into battle and maybe he can at least pick up brave or marks of war. Or at least something useful for him. Because uh, until then I don't want to give him some slightly trashy armies to rule over. Nonetheless they can fight together on this occasion. So let's swing on in. And Rashkos can hopefully deal a pretty significant blow to the Novgorods. We've got ourselves a bit of a foresty battlefield here. And of course they are going to hide out in the corner. And uh, we do have ourselves a nice little building here in the background. Isn't that beautiful? Nice frozen fountain. But uh, we will need to start shuffling forward. We do have trebuchets though, so we need to be a little bit careful about moving our force into range of them. So we'll try and keep the infantry out of range. But the cavalry, yeah, the cavalry can be a bit of a task force. Just head around the side, maybe snipe off the general, the trebuchets. And that will hopefully work out for me. They do have a fair few cav though, so that could be potentially problematic. They do seem to actually be reacting to us now, so I might just start running these guys forward. I'd like to get into a slightly advantageous, advantageous position up here on the hill. They do seem to be moving towards that at this point. And to be honest, if they just want to move in towards my actual infantry line that's probably the best situation for me so let's go and get these cavalry units into there these kazakhs can just do some good work against their militia just shoot them down from a distance but yeah we can just engage those with a general that'll be very nice indeed i'll still come and join in and all of that nonsense that'll be absolutely fine just let our infantry get into position that's actually the position they want to be in Maybe we should just be going for this hill instead, lads. I think they've been moving quite quickly here. Let's just flood those Kazakhs into this melee here. Let the general do some work. Cavalry militia taking on our Huskals. We should be chopping through, and you'd think. But it's not looking as positive as I might like. You can just pin them for the time being. That's fine. We'll just let everyone else get in position. Hopefully, just a sheer charge of numbers will do some good work against these. But you never know. Nothing else is buys infantry a moment to get into position, which is kind of what I'm really looking for. Okay, Archer Militia are pursuing our cavalry for some unbeknown reason. We'll send the Huskulls back in, damn it. Take them out. Yeah, Huskulls. Okay, that's not really what they want to be taken on. Um, Right, this is my units. That's fine. I thought I was a bit, con a bit concerned then that our, our units were getting a ran into but no 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 all is fine but they are hiding units in the forest and it's getting a little bit confusing i think it's because they're on skirmish so they're on a little bit of a scatter at this point right general do you want to maybe want to get out of that at this point you're proving your worth there you are there's some experience but best not actually die if you don't need to you might be a drill master but maybe you're a brave drill master at that so we'll uh keep you back for a moment Let's get our Huskull and the General out to that flank. We are now in position on the hill. That is excellent news. And so, yeah, we can now start to pretty much do what we want to do, which is make use of this hill. They're actually coming forward to us now, which is hilariously stupid. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. 
And yeah, we'll just run into them if they want to. There we go. There we go. That's what we want to see. So we've got Arch Militia over there. They have quite a lot of awkward units here. But to be honest, quite happy even with a second row here just to start running down the hill at them. And we'll just find a way to make this work. Aside from the cavalry, there really aren't any dangerous units for me to be worrying about here. So, all right, well, we'll just send in what we can. We'll just charge down the hill at them and we'll see how this all goes. Send one of you just to chase after this cavalry militia. That should be absolutely fine. You just continue to get down this flank, actually. We really want to be pressing them in, if at all possible. You are Kazakhs, which are a bit annoying, so we'll just get the missiles on you. We'll just send an infantry in that general direction. Send the general down there. General is back in the fight once again. What a goddamn hero he is. He's just throwing himself into the action. Okay, and where is the general? Hiding in the trees like a ruddy darn coward. Okay, let's get the two Tartars into him, if at all possible. Thank you. Generals, generals, generals. Yeah, you got on top of him as well. Make sure that he is under our control. Let's get the... I don't even know where most of my units are at this point. Is that a noble death? Oh, no. Satyrus has died. What an absolute tit. Well, he was a drill master. They won't be too sad about it. But at least he was... He was at least someone who went into battle. It's a bit unfortunate to die with 30 men left, to be honest with you there. Um, trying to find someone to kill. Can we just get... Can we just get this unit basically making sure they take out the general now because they're all the way down here. They might as well go and do that. Don't really know what's going on in this battle. Should probably go and work that out. Down goes their general. Excellent. It wasn't even the units actually specifically sent after him. We just ran into him in the end, which is excellent news indeed. So, yeah, let's just make sure we chase as many of these down as possible because they're quite close to the edge of the battlefield in many cases. So, yeah, at this point, just get these Kazakhs madly running around and just chasing down whatever they can just not the general he's already dead thank you very much you guys aren't going to catch him so maybe just uh turn around and get in that direction but we'll let the crossman unless you actually still fighting technically get on with all of that don't really know apart from them what's still fighting there's the odd unit no there they are they're all gone bit of a random mess to be honest but there we are crossbows done a good job chasing down shit in those kazakhs that's what we want to see in the end then, an absolute massacre in the forest here, the White Forest of Death. And Raskos, well, he survived, if not his mate. But oh well, he was uh, not going to help the morale of our troops. Um, it's a shame that he could have really picked up a good trait there. He died right before we took out that general anyway. But um, you know what? He did a good work in this battle, so he'll be remembered fondly. And with that then, well, there are a fair few traits being picked up here, but it's just aspiring commander. And a noble death. That's the second great noble death of the day. That's a bit of a shame that we lost the general, though, in that regard. But uh, over at Danzig, there should be more. Oh, yeah, they keep on popping up, don't they? So uh, let's just get them on the boat, actually. You can just get moving immediately. And we'll send this boat to go and pick up those guys. Basically, the troops of Marienburg and Thorn will head over to that little point there. Okay, I think otherwise it's probably time to just end our turn. Although I say that, isn't the whole point, Thomas, that we move towards Pushkov? It is indeed, but the thing is, what about night fighting situations? All right, let me just organize this army again. Well, it looks like the Mongols actually do have a force over in Smolensk. They seem to be, again, distracted by all of our random forces out in the field, but he can't actually yeah, go and deal with him. That's interesting. We still have reinforcements for the Teutonic Order just wandering back, but they're not actually engaging us, so we probably don't need to worry about that too much. Dunneberg, though, should be a target very soon, and I can never notice that the second army around there seems to have split off. Very nice indeed. Okay, now I just moved the general over here to the bridge, uh, just to make sure we had the army, but there wasn't enough moving points to do the rest of it there. Okay, this army though, hmm. Okay, this is a bit of a pickoff potentially, isn't it? All right, all right. Let's see if we have any good opportunities for everyone here. Probably best for the cav just to get off, and they can probably make tons of good progress. Yeah, they can. All right. Well, we'll have those generals in before too long. More, more handsome and brave men. Oh, this is 
absolutely lovely, isn't it? All right, we need to organize that. We need to organize who's going to go take on that force. As for everything else, how are we doing? Four turns to surrender, six turns to surrender, four turns to surrender, and three turns till surrender. Mirislav, or Mr. Slav, will be under siege this turn. Can he actually make it there? He might just be able to make it to us. That's fine. We'll send this reinforcement cavalry back to Muglin. And we'll just get a couple units there just in case. Yeah, you're a little bit vulnerable looking right now, aren't you? We'll uh, make sure we restock with what we can. Oh, you do have a bit of money. That's nice. Yes, we haven't restocked over here. That probably means we can just send a couple units. Why are those boy your sons not able to be retrained, by the way? Oh, they can. Um, no more of this type. We'll just retrain them instead. That'll be absolutely marvellous. Yeah, we'll just send a couple units um, over in this direction. Make sure that is a little bit safer. Nothing particularly good, but enough just to make sure it can hold against an attack. That will be good enough for the time being. This town is just a great little independent city. I'm really enjoying the fact that they just managed to survive. That's great stuff. So yeah, in general, it's just um, waiting out several of these towns. Although I might just do a little bit of poking of some of this stuff in the meantime. I might have to do a little bit of the whole, you know, playing around with the movement once again. So we'll just keep on lifting the siege and murdering them and then lifting the siege and then murdering them. This is what I have to do basically every single turn. It's a little bit tedious. I mean, I could just fight it myself, but I'm not going to do that on this here occasion. So um, at this point, you know, we can probably skip this particular part because it's a little bit silly. One advantage of all these repeated battles is that, yes, trait increase, trait increase, trait increase. And um, it does just mean that we do potentially gain ourselves some nice extra traits on these, a bit more command. Because you know what, actually, in spite of everything, Scapti only has three command because while he has won a fair few important battles, he actually hasn't fought lots of silly little ones like that. So he hasn't picked up as much as he might want. I love Wary of Rebels, though. He's still wary of us. But he fights for us. God damn it. It's beautiful. But yeah, he's mostly rational when he is going to continue the most important siege because Scapti is a big damn hero. But yes, uh, this is why the peasants are here as well, by the way. It's just to keep poking all these forces as we put them under siege. So yeah, still four turns because we maintain the siege. But we need to get our equipment back. Anyway, as for over here... I've just reorganised the force on the bridge, a few more of the stronger units, just going to hold that. It's more important at this point, wow, it doesn't fancy our chances. That's interesting. Uh, Livonian auxiliaries are 5 and 13, but obviously they're effective long range, so we just need to rush on in and take them out. I brought a couple of lancers with me on this occasion. But um, yeah, I can see why it might think they have a chance, but no, 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 no. Let's pick these guys off, and then Dunneberg should hopefully be a little bit simpler. Let's head on in. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunset here today, and we are unfortunately going to have to wander towards them slowly, 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 which is unfortunate because, of course, they do have very long-range armour piercing, which, uh, against my, yes, armoured men, is going to be a little bit irritating. Obviously, no siege equipment for me, as the rebels... I don't get any of that tomfoolery, but um, all right, fine. We're going to get a cab out to the flanks, hiding in the forest soon enough. And hopefully we can find a way to outmaneuver them with all of our cav. At this point, then, we're sending our cavalry out at this flank here, right into the rear, just to cause them as much confusion and keep them moving, really. If they're dancing, they are not shooting. And indeed, they don't seem to be doing very much about our Tartar Lancers at this moment either. So let's just get them into their crossbows. That will be magnificent. Okay, to be honest with you, they seem to be getting themselves way enough forward whereby we can just get on with this, actually. So yeah, let's just grab all of our infantry, start sending them in. Those are some order spearmen. Lovely stuff. We'll just make sure, you know, we just grab everyone, really. Make sure that you have someone to kill. Um, and I just fancy us in the hand-to-hand -to, -hand to actually be able to win this because we are far more chunky than they are. We've got the Tartar Lancers, they can just get into the flanks. Same with those ones over there. And yeah, we have most of them now running into some kind of attack. 
hopefully we'll be able to do some lovely lovely damage it's a nice hit from the title lancers but i think half of them kind of hit the wrong target there we are that's something at the very least right let's keep getting these cavalry around the rear because that's going to be a key part of this these kazakhs are all back there somewhere there are livonians in that part of the world as well swing into them if you can please and the husk girls yeah you're doing that job as well you hit them they don't like the fact that we're actually charging forward no they're not very pleased about that are they i am quite happy with that scenario myself though so let's just make sure we are piling on in oh yeah that's the cavalry charge in the rear that everyone was looking for they could have held their line and shot at us for a long long time made this very painful but no no they did not let's just grab these cav just pile in pile in pile in pile in pile in the tartan lancers are getting around this flank as well those north swords were getting around the flank and they haven't needed to do anything you head into those you cavalry get into there as well because they've all fallen apart this is absolutely glorious there are some people hiding in trees that i can't see but aside from them i think we are mostly already victorious in this battle and Rulashkos once again proved his worth picking off a pretty darn good set of units out in the field there they might have been lacking cavalry but they were strong by themselves but a very nice tactical affair there means that we have, yeah, cleared them off the field. With another random army picked off in the field, Rashkos is starting to get some very nice command traits, which is pretty darn good news. Dizinius going to head around to Duneberg, and uh, that one could be interesting. I think at this point, though, we might just keep using him to... No, 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 no. Keep on fighting these forces. Well done, sir. Now, if we're lucky... He well, oh, he's picked up Scarred and Brave from some of those fights. That's interesting. Um, didn't do very much fight in that battle, but I guess maybe he just did in that one. Fine. Let's just keep on picking off these armies and we'll get it doubly under sieged. Which is nice for us. You, sir, just continue. No, 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 no. Continue poking them. Thank you very much. He's not going to necessarily gain too much command from that. He's going to gain a little bit of loyalty. Does he have no no night fighter at this point? Is that just after four? Is that when you get to five command that you do just pick it up automatically? Because we could probably do with that moving into this area. Unless you just want to use massive amounts of firepower. You know, we could do. We could do that. That could be a lot of fun, actually. So let's go and maybe do exactly that. Okay, you come... Hmm. How are we going to do this? You come around to here. Bring... Ah, yes, of course, the bridge is in the way, isn't it? Okay, so we can't necessarily bring them all around. So that was potentially a bit of an error. So, yes, we're going to have to get this force to maybe attack this. No. Hmm. This guy might now just get in a bit of trouble. You know what? It's fine if that happens. We'll just see how that goes. He could be uh, very much smashed up at this point. But, you know, that was always supposed to be his destiny. And this force can head towards Smolensk. We have uh, Vitebusk over here as well, which I haven't dealt with. This needs to fall. So we'll take a night attack as we can. Gustav is just on a great adventure around the entire world, quite frankly. That's ours. And we're just going to immediately move out to the next territory. Because, yeah, okay, we could go for Minsk. Gustav being the one to take Minsk, that could... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily mind that. We did say we're going to need to swing back around these towns. So, yeah, let's go and do exactly that. Minsk, Minsk, Minsk. You can come back under my control. And Muglin, we can just send that cavalry around there. Oh, we're going to have it at Duneberg. Then they fancy their chances. We've got ourselves two armies outside the town. Now, I'd much rather Rashkos be controlled by me... But um, it's okay, Suarez. Right. Well, we can head in with this army as well. They're both pretty darn similar. Hochmeister Siegfried. Oh, lovely. Faction leader, no less. Drillmaster, but scarred. Interesting, because he's got Courageous for plus three. So, fierce in battle. Fine with blood. This is, um, yeah, starting to become a bit of an issue, actually. Plus three. I think that is plus five to morale, so basically no one's going to back down at all. He's also got um, Fool as well. That's plus 
five, is it? Fi fine armor. This guy's an absolute cocking monster. Okay, well, best we take him down then. What about his army? Got some Livonian auxiliaries, as you might expect. Order spearmen. Okay, nothing too much of the proper chunky axe or um, sword guys here. Not the best force, but he's going to be absolutely impossible to kill, I imagine. Right, let's hit on him. This is going to be a big one. But I was planning on Duneburg to be a big old citadel attack situation, but um, okay, we're going to do it this slightly differently to the plan, which is we're going to have to deal with a Sally battle, but it's going to be a slightly awkward Sally battle like we had um, yeah, at the start, where uh, yeah, everything kind of went to hell. So hopefully it won't be quite as bad as that, but uh, okay, the reinforcements are going to take a bit of time because they've actually got to start outside the field of battle, in spite of the fact that they're also taking part in this siege so hopefully they'll be quicker than last time but we'll see about all of that nonsense so we are getting ourselves into position get our cavalry in position up here where they can shoot at them they're not going to do very much but they can try damn it there are some sword brethren in there that's interesting so yeah you just stop where you are we've got the huskars out on the flank we just got the standard kind of formation back there so we'll see how all of this goes Jump's bodyguard can just take a few shots early doors, that's fine by me, but uh, hmm, this is going to be a painful one, I imagine. Seems as they're getting themselves organised, then we're going to go in with a nice charge of our Huskulls, just to try and see if we can do some damage to some of their more armoured lads at the front here, who are not currently in position at all. There's some order spearmen just to be a little bit wary of, so let's just pull them out of there. That'll be absolutely magnificent. You smash into the Livonians, you smash into those peasants. You just kind of get yourself around and maybe hit these guys. Okay, good. We're doing some nice damage here early doors, just making sure they are disrupted fairly well. You, though, just pull out of that situation. That should be a nice big hit, since they were not ready for that charge. Okay, this is not too bad. We've got the Polish knights on this flank, by the way, in case you're wondering what units I'm sending over there. So Brethren once again going to get chunked. A little bit of a charge bonus on the Huskars, but not that much. Just want to make sure those Livonians are being dealt with. Order Spearmen are not doing too much at this point in time. Get yourselves turned around, lads. You get a proper charge in because we're currently not... Ooh, there comes the General. Okay, fine. Don't do that if the General is going to be in there. You get yourselves out of there now. That's probably what we want to see. The general's going to be stupid enough. Well, not stupid enough. He's an absolute beast. If he's going to get himself this isolated, yeah, we're going to get ourselves ready to charge into you instead. That works for me. Get the Kazakhs behind the lines. Yeah, anytime you want to run, that'd be perfect, to be honest, because he's to be getting a bit confused with everything. Okay, get yourselves in. Get yourselves in. And get yourselves in. Infantry yeah you get yourselves in you get yourselves in you three are gonna have to be taking the charge of this guy but i think at this point this is just what we want to see we're gonna get him massively surrounded we probably do actually want to send some of these huskars back into this a little bit the general's all over the place here so he might just be able to charge into a few isolated guys that will be very nice indeed but in general probably going to need to turn around and start dealing with these guys again so let's just smash those guys back there those huskars are pursuing that's probably for the best yeah continue with the livonians please down to 39 already that's surprisingly good actually all right that general can go down that's really what we need pull those guys out of there and continue the poking with the cav looks like we're doing a pretty good job actually i'm surprised at how well this is going the knights aren't doing as well as the huskars which is probably not a surprise, simply because of the sheer uh, weight of hmm, heaviness on some of these units. Let's make sure, by the way, this general isn't getting out of here through the back door. Let's just uh, turn around for a moment and make sure we pin him in place. Where is their leader, by the way? We definitely need him to go down here today. Lots of hit points, lots of morale, and if his morale can go, we'll be looking very, very good indeed. But, yeah, okay, Livonia's starting to get some shots in. We can't be having that. Get a big, chunky charge in that. We need to keep our general safe. Their general is not safe. That's order spearmen annoyingly, so he's managed to retreat through the correct place. 
Get our infantry back in position, please. That is what I want to see. Yeah, all of you. Back in position, back in line. You should not be caught on the order. Spearman, thank you very much. That general's annoying. He's managed to sneak his way past us. Bit of a shame. He's now, I think, running off to go deal with the other army. So let's just get those two units chasing after him. Everyone else, you're stuck in a melee, which isn't necessarily ideal. If they are, you know, they are missile troops, but they're very, very strong ones. And we can't get stuck in that for too long. Yeah, likewise, they're in a bit of a bad situation. So we need you to chase after the general. They're now worried about the other guy, of course, which might work in my favor because I can probably just sneak into the citadel at this point. That's probably what I need to start thinking about doing. Order spearmen. They are coming in for a bit of infantry fighting. That's fine by me. You go and take them down. Yeah, that's good. And we've got... No, not the ladder. Just fight them. Thank you. Right. Get these guys forward. You, actually, I do want someone to grab the ladder, to be fair. So these guys can go grab the ladder. That would be perfect. Right, my cavs just going to chase him around. We'll probably find that they take him out instead of me now, which is a little bit irritating. But we'll go and pin those order spearmen. The towers are activated. They are retreating into the town. Maybe because I picked the ladders. Maybe because they're arriving with their towers. I don't know. Down he goes. He's killed by a ladder. <laughs> Excellent work, my allies. Excellent work. Literally gonked with the ladder. What more could you ask for? Some excellent work by the Norse guys there. Now, they're not going to open the gate because he's far too near to enemies, but can we maybe just find a moment to make this work? Yeah, the ladder's there. That's why they've reacted. Okay. So, at this point, we need to chase some of these down and get our ladders forward. Oh, amusingly, they've managed to leave the gate open because it's just one of my horsemen who's standing here. It's not the whole unit, but that one horseman is enough. <laughs> Excellent. Run my infantry forward. Get them into the gate because we are currently in a good position here to hold this open. Oh, that's just absolutely magnificent stuff. All right. Gate's now under our control and we can cause them some more problems. Get on top of those trebuchets, please. That'll be absolutely glorious. But yeah, it looks awfully like all my cavalry can now just run on into their citadel. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay, yeah, you mop them up on your way in. But yeah, we don't even need the ladder at this point. Pretty much just going to waltz on in and slaughter them. By slaughter, I mean we're going to have to have a big, big fight inside here, which is going to be horrible, particularly, by the way, if we don't follow them in the next gate. So maybe we should do that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and quickly get over here to the next gate to make sure, because I kind of forgot about that part, you know, of the whole um, fortress situation. So yeah, follow those sword brethren in. There is a unit, maybe not routing? I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to follow them. That's fine. Actually, that's some of the Norse spearmen are routing them as we push in. Oh, I didn't realise that. Our flanks are basically the exact same thing, so it's kind of easy to miss that sometimes. Um, oh, that's the plaza. Is this a fortress rather than citadel? I do keep saying citadel. But yes, there do any appear to be two layers here. It's a bit pathetic, lads. Should be doing better, quite frankly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we mop up any more of these? Can we get rid of these order spearmen almost immediately? That would be lovely if so. I think we probably got this, which is kind of hilarious. We will just uh, pile in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've absolutely got them pushed back to the plaza at this point. And that's a bit annoying that we're not going to quite finish it. But we can get everyone into position here. And that will be perfect. I love it. Right, get them there. Get our yeah, get our missiles up on this wall here. And we'll start shooting them down. And of course, if they do get in a position to cause us uh, any more charges, then we will just start moving forward again. I probably do have a few missiles back here. There actually aren't that many. I think we cleared out most of the Livonians. So that's probably good news. Hilariously, when you tell them to attack these units, they all decide to go through this central little archway here, not into any of the side arches, which is what I'm having to manually tell them to do. That is probably working quite a lot better. Stop queuing over there and get yourself into one of the flanks. That's much more sensible, isn't it? Well done, lads. Well done. All right, now we can start really getting on top of them. 
Oh dear, you have to do it all yourself, don't you? But gradually, uh, our flag against their flag will just slowly, slowly, slowly whittle them down. And just to really rub in the point here, with the infantry have decided to send their Haskells around to this entrance because there's lots of ways you can head in to go and get your glory here today, chaps. So go and do it. Grab all the Haskells and just tell them to aim at someone. These peasants, they'll do, why not? We've largely chunked them at the uh, rear here. We actually start pushing them off the plaza if we went in any other direction. But it's fine, we'll just do some chunking now. Oh, the frame rate doesn't like that. No, 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 it does not. We're now in control of the actual castle. That's excellent news. I don't know where Rashkos is. He is moving around to our gateway because I opened it up for him. Okay. Fortunately, these guys are now in position, but they're not nothing to do. Let's send, maybe not into the Order Spearmen, let's send Mr. General in to go and do something. But find a unit with more than one man in it. There's not really many of those around, are there? No, there aren't. Okay, they're sending in the Horse Archers. I think they're called Kazakhs, but they are Cuman, apparently. But it's fine, we can finish this all up. So, we didn't get to have the, the humongous, chunky affair that I first envisaged here. But you know what? This sally has worked out very nicely for us. Look at that! 2,500 with, uh, yeah, the Hoxmeister Seafreeze himself, plus six morale, was it? He had a lot of uh, extra health as well, but the ladder was ultimately what killed him. Now, that was a good result for us, but Minsk is less good because there appears to be a full stack army hanging around, so we, um, hmm, Captain Eusebius. That's interesting. Now, we're not in range of Minsk right now, and if I retreat, we might well be. Gustav of Vestemana, can we rely on you to actually win this one? I didn't realise how wonky this force had become. There's, like, no infantry here at all. Okay, cavalry to the rescue, I guess, but I reckon you can do it, Gustav. If nothing else, you've got 48 men yourself. In terms of what he has, fine with blood plus one morale. That's nice to have. He's scarred, of course. Confident attacker. He is defending on this occasion. He's going to get austere. Night fighter. Brave. Noble in rule. Yeah, so he personally is unlikely to be killed unless he's very unlucky. We might, though, have to throw him in properly to battle here today. The Dread, though, might just help us in this battle. He's only a captain, so I'll very much take that. And these guys are not too experienced. Let's head on in. Let's clear him out. It's a horrendously snowy day, the narrator man thinks we're already beginning to lose the battle and um, okay, we really don't have very much in terms of our defence, do we? Halberdier is going to hold the centre and we've got lots of Pavis to shoot and they are Pavis crossbowmen by the way, so that is good news. Um, it's going to make them walk as far as possible, the snow isn't really helping me here but if I can slow them down do a little bit of skirmishing I'll happily do that, in fact yeah, these guys in specific, uh, specifically can go and do that. So we've uh, decided to segregate them a little bit. We've got, uh, yes, the feudal knights on one side and we've got the Polish lads on the other. That's fine. So uh, we're going to move them along and see if we can do some annoying poking before they actually arrive into battle. But uh, yeah, these lads are very nice indeed. We'll just see that peasant archers. Waste of your time on them, lads. Don't worry about that. Order spearmen. They're the ones we need to be dealing with. Get off your silly skirmishes and start actually getting rid of them. I mean, we have slaughtered them, apparently. There's are Livonians, so that's probably where we want to... Oh, I wish I could see anything here. Uh, let's just charge into them with some of the Polish knights. That'll be marvellous. Clear them out early doors. Shoot into those order spearmen. That'll be magnificent. And as for the other cav, I can't see where they are at all. We need to be getting those nearer to the action, so maybe just start running some of those in to this direction, but maybe actually going for a charge over there. Okay, so we've got a charge on those Livonians, that's a nice start, kind of what you want to see. Move them into that position, that is good, 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 good. Do you have anyone else over here? I can't see any bloody thing in this battle, this is going to annoy me greatly, isn't it? Well, we are now breaking some of their units. We've got the classic um, catapults flying forward situation, which is always a little bit strange. You just shoot into them, though. I'd be quite happy about that. Polish knights. You're not the Polish knights. No, they're somewhere else. Those guys can just get moving to the rear and just make sure we mop people up when we get the opportunity. There's some order spearmen stuck with those catapults. This is a little bit awkward. 
these guys need to charge into them or something um, because I can't see anything. I, I'm just now my men are behind them. I don't even know what I'm doing. At this point, then, we're just going to start getting random charges in. Those are order spearmen, but quite frankly, the chance to slam them in the rear is always going to be taken up, quite frankly. Happy enough with that. Order spearmen are not the happiest of that situation. We've got another charge into that flank, and God even knows what's happening at the front here. Something is happening. Sword Brethren have been here, Imperial Knights. Uh, they're doing their work with them. Not sure we did enough damage of that charge, but we are just causing chaos right now which is kind of okay get on top of these catapults if we can i don't really know what's happening with them these guys are just sort of standing in front of them as well as these guys bit of a strange old one this but they are looking a little bit unhappy with life probably because they're getting shot in the rear so maybe run over that position start charging into them yeah i'm kind of happy we're doing that Let's get to these catapults if at all possible. Um, I have more cavalry around in some places, just can't see them right now. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, this is going okay. Four to 32. Well, apparently, we're absolutely massacring them. That's good to know, isn't it? Because I have no idea what's actually happening. That's the catapults which seem to be going down at this point. That's good to see. You just shoot into the rear of those order spearmen. These guys are about to be hitting that flank. Ahoy! Here we are. They are not really wanting to turn around, they just want to get to the actual battle, which, unfortunately for them, isn't going to be allowed to happen. Or if it is, it's not going to happen very long, because yeah, here they are, they've now arrived. Lots and lots and lots of crossbows are coming on in. Let's bring Mr. Gustav out to that flank here. Let's just make sure I've got all of my guys in position, because I don't know where they all are, and right now they probably need to be doing something. So let's just tell them to start slamming. Just to give you some context of how split up they are, we've got ourselves Sword Brethren here at the front. They are actually losing. I think they're a little bit knackered, to be honest. Uh, they're getting shot to ribbons by us as they arrive. We've got plenty of Shield Wall formations dealing with them. They're getting charged in the rear by random cavalry. Some have been shot in the rear. I don't really know entirely what's going on with a lot of this nonsense. But if we can pick these guys off as they flee, I'll be very happy with that. A lot of all the spearmen are going to be the awkward ones in this whole affair. But Polish knights, yeah, just keep on charging into them. So you get you get them taken care of. The Strasrishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishish
just continue charging after them. There we go. Those two units are both routed now. And I think we're largely done here. I seem to have a lot of cavalry standing around doing very little. I think that's because we've already killed them. It certainly looks that way. Yeah, 91% are already D E D dead. So let's get all my missiles off of murder at this point. Thank you very much. And that's an excellent bit of work done by Gustav. Gustav of Vestmana once again. 217 men lost. He didn't gain the final experience in spite of his 64 casualties in those pretty heroic charges at the end there. I'm pretty sure he personally killed several men with one of his charges there. Great stuff, sir. Well, at this stage, things are absolutely coming together. A terrible, terrible end turn for the Teutonic Order leaves them wide open for us to take down. Dear Zensis, you can go and take on Dostoevsky. That's your plan to do. Torgis Masson, your job can be to head over to this town. Do that with your good old friend Secundus, actually. He can follow you because that's a full stack in there, so that could be problematic. As for this force, while well, Smolensk can be put under siege, we did amusingly get ourselves a nice big force of Mongol infantry. Very, very strong indeed. They have uh, just joined our faction, which is great news for us. We can send them to go in, reinforce. Ah, well, it's fine. <laughs> we managed to beat them off anyway. That's kind of amusing. So over to that bridge over there. That would be an excellent spot for the Mongol infantry to be standing. And, okay, what else do we want to do? Campany and HV, can we continue that siege for the time being and send another force over them? Kind of lacking the one more force I would like, actually, because Gustav has taken a fair bit of damage there. Can he win this? I think he can win this himself, though. There aren't too many reinforcements around. We'll leave that to Gustav. Although, if we can send some reinforcements this way, we will. Uh, what is impressive, by the way, in terms of reinforcements, is my road network now is so obscenely good that these can join him in Minsk in another turn. That's absolutely obscene. Okay, we're just going to go for a lovely winter holiday in Minsk. There's nothing else uh, that they can do about it. All right, at this point, I think we are on the verge of having every single siege, uh, and every single city under siege, Kiev under siege one turn. Nine turns till Smolensk no general there so they will die when Kiev goes anyway so that will be simple enough that might just be the extra army I need in case to be honest any of these have a problem so Bananovici under siege two turns Dostoevsky under siege uh, a few more turns there four turns here two turns over here and that really just leaves Puskov over here which weirdly they didn't attack well that's very strange of them isn't it Okay, we can organise our forces a little bit better now. So I tell you what, let's just move you out of there. Send good old Nautius, handsome lad that he is, to go and take on this force. And they don't want to do it. No, they don't. And that means... Oh, do we have another general here? We might be missing a general for this final army. Rashkos, how do you feel about doing that? You know what? It was Sortez who was doing this before, wasn't it? I can't even remember anymore. I've got too much going on. Maybe these guys were like some revenge. You know what? Yeah, we'll let them get some revenge. Why not? You can come join that party. Okay, you might die. <laughs> they might die now. That's absolutely fine. Uh, but it will distract them, and that's what we need to do. So to finish off today, I think we'll just uh, make sure we got things organised, really. Over here in Dinabo, we'll just get some retraining done. That's absolutely grand. But um, that job is very much uh, a success at this point. Probably need to go and grab our unpronounceables and send them over as support because their movement is ridiculous on our roads nowadays. So yeah, I think next time then we'll start by finishing this off and we'll just get a massive pile of trash into Pushkov and see if we what we can do this isn't actually too trashy at this point uh we've just got what we've got haven't we and we'll just have a huge huge siege to go and finish that army off you come and stand the bridge with these guys you can that's their tower still so you might as well keep you there on the tower that's fine so some more husk goes to the bridge something like that anyway i think now yes we can very much say that next time is going to be the grand finale all but one town Homel, um, but one town, 
two towns under siege now, I think. Yes, yeah, it's just Hommel and uh, whichever one is it? Oh, yeah, this one over here. Uh, Vitebusk. So those two, which will be under siege very, very soon, but maybe not soon enough. Yeah, we need to get another army down to them. Maybe that's for Gustav to finish off. It's only a small place. It's one of the ones we started with, so maybe him taking it isn't the most uh, incorrect way to end. Maybe Skapti and Gustav need to do that together to finish us off. I think that might be the sensible thing. Maybe they can head to Minsk together, because that's the one... That was the sad loss in my mind. Anyway, all of that will happen next time for the grand finale. For now, though, I will leave you on to this. This is the first team, and this has been actually 20 Rebels campaign. Thank you, and bye bye right, At some point, you're going to have to face it, lads. Go home. Go home. Yes, that's what we needed. Down goes the tower. <laughs> uh, can they take out number one and do something useful for the first time in all of Total War history? The answer is no.